Coming up on UT10 News, some organizations on campus dance the night away. And not driving could mean money in your pockets. Plus, our own Dewan Collins has highlights from the spring football game and much more in sports. Your news in 10 minutes starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Nowaki. And I'm Andrew McCatsey. Not driving your car to campus could earn you some extra money. Student government wants students to use their cars less, and in return, students will receive scholarships. President and Vice President-elect Crystal Weaver and Rachel Wides would like to see less congestion with traffic and parking throughout campus. The new administration is pushing for a scholarship fund for students who decide not to have a parking permit for the upcoming semester. The amount is expected to be around $250 per student. The student government president-elect feels students will take advantage of the scholarship opportunity. Because they first of all don't have to pay for the parking pass of ninety dollars they're also getting a financial incentive and it also is going to help the environment the new student leadership will be sworn in sunday april 26th one ut organizations walked for a cause over this weekend it was an evening of games education and laughs around the track as ut's public relations student society of america held its first annual walk for a cause the walk took place last Sunday in Darling Hall on the university's health science campus. The PRSSA is competing in the DeWitt Now Ohio College Challenge. All Ohio universities with public relations chapters are doing this in order to help increase organ and tissue donation in Ohio. And with over 2,900 patients waiting for transplants in Ohio, PRSSA Vice President Emily Hickey feels that having this event can only help. The importance of this event is just basically education. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to organ donation. So I think having these types of events really help to open people's eyes about how important it really is. The result of Ohio College Challenge will be announced at the end of the semester. On May 5th, Bowling Green residents will vote on whether or not to ban texting while driving. Nationwide Insurance conducted a study on the dangers of driving while dialing. The study says 45% of drivers between the ages of 18 and 24 are sending and receiving text messages while driving. Nationwide agent Bowen Bebo says DWDs are just as serious as DUIs. Toledo has not passed any laws regarding using cell phones while behind the wheel. How about you, Andrew? Do you text while you drive? I text a lot, Pat. <laughs> Stick around. We'll be back with Dewan Collins and your, your, and your Rocket Sports in 30. Revitalizing Toledo means helping the people who live here. At the University of Toledo, we give back by providing free counsel in our legal clinic, pharmaceutical and health care for the underserved at the Cordelia Martin Health Center, and addressing local issues in the Urban Affairs Center. These are just a few of the ways we work in the community for the community. To learn more, visit utmatters.com. Welcome back, I'm Dewan Collins and this is your UT10 Sports. The Rocket football team is preparing to bounce back from a three-win season and standing in our way will be the Ohio State Buckeyes. Reporter Elise Chingari has the story. Students, faculty, and staff will travel over 90 miles to see the University of Toledo Rockets here in Cleveland as they face the Ohio State Buckeyes at the Brown Stadium on Saturday, September 19th, 2009. New head football coach Tim Beckman says the team is facing the opportunity of a lifetime. To be able to play in a, in a uh, NFL stadium, and just happens to be the Cleveland Browns stadium, yeah, they're really excited about it. It was an agreement by the OSU and UT athletic directors to hold the game at the Browns stadium. The capacity for the Cleveland Browns stadium is over 73,000 compared to the Glass Bowl that holds 26,000, and the UT athletic office expects this game to sell out. Current or enrolled students may purchase up to two tickets for $25. Any additional tickets are $45. Orders can be submitted by phone or in person at the UT Athletic Office. The deadline for these tickets is May 1st. We'll see you at the game. For UT10 News, I'm Elise Chingari. Thanks, Elise.
The football team's blue versus gold spring game was Friday night, and it gave fans a glimpse of what they can expect in September. Blue team up three to nothing, looking to add to the lead, but gold team's Chris Faison will not have any of that. He comes up with the interception. The blue team gets the ball back after a gold team score, and Alex Petit finds Jared Strait for a seven-yard TD pass. The gold team would keep fighting with this catch by Tim Cortazzo that sets up a one-yard touchdown run. Then came, you guessed it, me, Duan Collins for a three-yard touchdown run, and the blue team would win 20-14. First spring game, but head coach Tim Beckman was just a spectator for this one. Coach Beckman talked about what will make his players winners on and off the field. Everything from attitudes to uh, uh, work ethic to uh, weight room to uh, learning, learning the game, all things that are going to make you a successful football player and student. From the gridiron to the baseball diamond, softball was at home taking on Ohio University. Unfortunately for the Rockets, Mr. Momentum was knocking on the door of the Ohio Bobcats in both games of the doubleheader. Rockets would lose the first game 9-3. to Lacey LeVere went 2-for-2 two two with two runs batted in. In the second game, Bree Ford went 2-for-5 with two RBIs and two runs scored. But the Rockets would lose again this one by a final of 8-6. to six. On Saturday, the Rockets hoping for some better luck. They took the first game against the Akron Zips 3-1. In the second game, Brooke Gates knocked the three-run home out the park, but it would not be enough. Akron would win 9-3. When the weather warms up, it usually means one thing to sports fan, baseball and softball season. But what about the game known as the fastest sport on two legs, lacrosse? Here's Pat Milwaukee with a closer look. The object of the sport is to use the lacrosse stick to carry, catch, and shoot the ball in the other team's goal. All the while trying to avoid being hit by the other team. And after a brief hiatus, lacrosse is back on UT's campus. Co-founder Hector Mendez encourages anybody who is interested, regardless of skill level, to come out and join the team. Sophomore Jimmy DeMattis explains why he does not understand why more people do not play lacrosse. It's a combination of a lot of sports. It's got the, uh, like the hitting of football, it's got the uh, finesse of uh, hockey, and it's got the style of play of uh, basketball. For UT10 News, I'm Pat Nowaki. Football can be tough at times, but lacrosse looks pretty intense. Yeah, I played it my freshman year. It's pretty tough, but it's a lot of fun. I never played it, but it looks fun. We'll be back in a moment with more UT10 news. When I was little, my grandma took me to the Dairy Queen, right? She bought me a banana split. And, you know, you know, I was kind of a little messy when I was little, all right? Then the bee, then the bee got in the coma. Grandma's like, baby. Don't swing at the bee, because the bee won't hit you. Don't swing at it. I didn't swing and guess what happened, Grandma? The bee stung me. I swing at bees because they'll sting you anyway, because they're ruthless and they and have no soul. It's time to get down on the dance floor. Dance Marathon had various UT organizations dancing from Friday night until Saturday morning at the rec center. Every hour, the participants were taught a new dance by student choreographers. For the last seven years, Dance Marathon has been raising money for families at the St. Vincent Mercy Children's Hospital. This year, the event raised over $50,000 for those families. That's it for UT10 News. If you have any stories or information you would like to share with us, please e email us at ut10news at gmail.com. And remember, you can also watch our newscasts on YouTube and Facebook, where you can get caught up on all of your campus news whenever you want. For Andrew McCadsey, Duan Collins, and all of our crew, I'm Pat Nowaki. Have a great week, and stay tuned for more news from the UT campus.